Hello everyone, Mr. Kenor here. Today we are gonna be building the Revolve. So we're gonna come up here to the light bulb and we are gonna scroll all the way down until you get to number 11, Revolve. And we're actually gonna be building the alarm device, but this is part one of just building this. There are um, building instructions, so you could do it on your own or if you wanna follow this video, you can. I'm just gonna go step-by-step step through this video and hopefully help those who might need some help. So step one, we're gonna take these two by fours and we're gonna take one of these long, this is the length 12 Technic brick and we're gonna put it on just like that and then we're gonna put on the other side just like that. All right, now we're gonna take our green pieces and these are gonna kinda of go underneath so they're lined up just like that, but then they're sticking out this way. So one there and then one at the very end, just like that. We're gonna take three of our trans blue cylinders. The first one is gonna go right at the beginning. The other one's gonna go here over this green one and this one's gonna come over here onto this green one. So one, two, three, with that space in between these two. Then we're gonna take our hub and our hub is going to sit right like this, right there. So it's on the green and it's resting right here. So it sits nice and flat. Now we're going to take a two by four in this piece. We're going to put it on here and then this one comes on the other side just like that. And then we're going to have a one by two. This is going to go on that trans blue piece in the middle here leaving space on either side for us to put this sloped, these bright orange slope pieces coming down. Now this might be the hardest part of today's build. You're gonna take this translucent piece here. There's an opening and then you have three dots. So this opening is where we're gonna put the little spiral gear. So you kind of line it up and then it will pop into place. Listen for that pop and then it sits in the middle. If you ever need to get it out, you just gotta push a little hard and it will pop right out. So it's set in there. And then we're gonna take our length six black axle. This isn't the super long one. Um, this one's a length six, so you could line it up, count the number of studs. It's the number of studs long that's on the hub because one, two, three, four, five, six. So not the super long one, just this one. We're gonna take a yellow one third bushing, the little stop. We're gonna put it right at the end like that. And then we're gonna push it through so it goes through the gear right in here. And then step number 10, you might wanna hold it with one finger on this side and then push this one on here. That's okay, because as long as we're done, like let's say this is kind of sticking out on either end, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on the ground and then we're gonna push the stud down, basically, I should be able to go like this and not touch this yellow one. And then this is sticking out. And then this, we're gonna put right on the back here. So yeah, that one can't be sticking out, otherwise it would rub up against the hub and should be able to turn and spin the little spiral gear inside. Step 12, we're just taking our little pulley wheel, putting that on, and then just dropping this, the 24 tooth gear just drops right inside, just like that doesn't connect to anything. Step 13, we're taking our bevel gear, our smaller one, and we're putting it at the end right here. And then step 14, we're taking our blue circle and another trans blue, and that trans blue goes right in the middle, sitting in the middle like that. Um, if you're having trouble, just know, see how the studs line up, one, two, three, four, so the studs on top will line up. I always try to line up studs because I know these circular pieces can be a little tricky sometimes. So, all right, we're gonna put on our little Technic axle pieces on either side, so opposite of each other. Just make sure that you push them down all the way. And then on the other side, go the Technic with the pin holes in them. Okay, so it should look like that. See how they're opposite of each other? Then uh, we are going to take this and put it on top, remember? line up the studs. So find where there's the four, one, two, three, four, and we're just gonna line them up. Or like these two studs and these two studs, line them up and then push down, okay? 
And then we're gonna take a length three. This is the smallest gray axle that we have and it's gonna stick out of one of the uh, darker gray pieces. So it should go right in, not the green one, the darker gray one. Flip it upside down and then going um, perpendicular to this. So this is sticking out here. These are coming this way. So this way and this way, whoops. That's called perpendicular. And so it's gonna go in like that. And now we're gonna take this, flip it back over here. And this gray axle is gonna go in this middle circle here in, into this gear. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna stick it right in like this. And now if I twist this gear, it's gonna spin this thing right here. Try to leave it flat because it'll be easier to stick um, this part in. Okay, so that's in step 20. Has us adding one more blue brick right here. And then we're just gonna lock it in place. We're gonna use this slope piece and this slope piece is gonna extend right here. Notice how I had to push that in. So just make sure this is pushed in all the way. Step 22, we're just adding some more of these uh, green sloped pieces like so. And then we're adding two more of these, the pinhole ones right here so that we can eventually stick an axle going in through here. And so step 24 has us taking that axle. So we're gonna do the one with the stop and then we're gonna take this bushing and we're gonna push the bushing all the way back until it hits the stop. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it through the hole here. You might need to twist a little bit to find the groove where it goes in, but it should push all the way in. And now this is totally locked in place. This gear is in place and it still turns if I turn this gear here. Okay, take this little black square, put it right here just to make sure that it seals off there. All right, putting the motor, it's easier to put the motor on first, like to plug it in, and then set the motor down on the back right here. Okay. We're gonna take our axle, we're gonna stick our axle in, just like this. We are going to take another one-third bushing, and that's going to go right onto here. And then we're going to stop it with another bevel gear here. Last piece, we're just gonna take our rubber band. That rubber band has to go on the yellow right here and over onto the blue. So it wraps all the way around so that when the motor turns, it's gonna turn this piece right here. There you go, that's the build. So this is the rotation motor. We are all done. We did a good job. If you wanna program this one, this program right here just rotates it back and forth or you could write your own program if you want. All right, hope you enjoy and hope you were successful getting this far in the build.